because now people are really conscious of wellness. The other is environment. The industry of environment is gonna go gangbusters. The other is education. Lots of opportunities in education. But here's the biggest, technology. We're going to go in the world shortly, in the next few years, 90% of all businesses in the world will be home-based businesses, 90%. So there'll be 10% bricks and mortar businesses in the world and 90% home-based. So everyone out there, you know, stop shitting, stop worrying, stop being in stress, and just sit at your desk, be, take responsibility for your life, and start creating. There's so many great ideas. Are you an idea person, Big D? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Last year, I, I wrote eight books and created 20 companies and did several thousand other things in one year. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable, right? Nice. So how was I able to do it? First of all, I take a lot of action. Part of, part of getting out of your addictions that people don't, you have to have the proper routine. So let me ask you a big question. What time do you get up in the morning? To be around true? seven, around seven. That's good. What time do you go to sleep? Around 10, uh, around 10, 11. Okay. So you're, you're getting eight hours of sleep. Absolutely. The biggest problem is not really addictions in the world. It's the lack of sleep. People don't have the energy. They don't have the clarity. They don't have the focus to move out of their addiction. Because I used to do that a, a lot. Though. I used to be, I used to think like three hours, four hours is enough. Yeah. I see what you're saying. That's true. Yeah. But it's the routine. So, okay. I have everything in my life, everything, wealth, love, you name it. You know why? Why? Going to teach you the big secret in life. Most humans were taught that the one who has the most toys wins. You've heard that expression, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The one who needs the least wins. The one who le needs the least. I don't need anything. I tell my wife all the time, I don't need love. I don't need anything. You know why? I am all those things. And when you are all those things, you get it in abundance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to walk out. I walk out and I have 11 animals and they're going to all jump on me at once. Yeah. And I don't need their love at all. And because I don't need it, they just love me to death. Same way with wealth. If you don't, or sex or whatever, if you don't need it, you're going to get it. Yeah. Neediness, it's like imprisons you. Yes. When you, when you were young, you probably thought, oh, I want my mom and daddy to love me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> if, if your mother and father didn't love you, they probably weren't supposed to love you so you could learn a big lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, know, you know the expression wearing big boys pants? Yeah. So when I was four years old, I was wearing big boy pants. Yeah. So you just got to step into being a man or being a woman, being proactive. Create yourself a really great routine. I get up five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I'm creating, creating. And one day I do as much as most people do a week or a month in one day. Nonstop creation. Yeah. Let's get into the 18 steps. I'm going to read them to your listeners. All right, let's do it. So there are 18 steps to happiness and eliminating addictions and creating joy in your life. Okay. And that's an important word. To get over an, any addiction in life, any, whether it's cell phones, food, alcohol, drugs, internet, whatever it be, if you're not going to create joy, you're never going to get over addiction. 
Joy is the most important ingredient. You know, a person's life is like a great recipe. Was your mom a good cook? Absolutely. Yeah. She probably had great recipes, right? Absolutely. So if your life has a great recipe, you're going to have a great life. So number one, be committed to staying out of your head. Be committed to staying out of your head. Be committed to staying in the moment. Yes. If you're not in the moment, guess what? You miss at the moment. Yes. Be committed to believing in hope. Yes. Be committed to, to your growth spiritually, whatever that might entail. Does it make any difference what religion you're practicing? You can be free of addiction, but you have to be committed to your growth. Be committed to live one day at a time and get the most out of that day. Be committed to something greater than yourself. You know, lots of people who've been abused or have really hard addictions, they say, oh, I'm alone in the world. Were you ever alone in the world? No. I've never been alone in the world. Even when I was hungry, yeah. I remember only having a Twinkie for dinner. It was a damn good Twinkie, yeah. <laughs> But it wasn't enough. Be committed to looking for the win in life. The win in life. You know, when I was a little kid, did you ever ride the merry-go-round? Absolutely. Okay. I rode the merry-go-round for one reason. You know what that was? Why? To get the brass ring. Because when you got the brass ring, guess what? get to go on the merry-go-round again. <laughs> yeah. So part of my 18-step program is always looking for the brass ring. Yeah. That's going to be your savior. It has nothing to do with ego. It has to be the big word, deserving. Demetrius, do you believe you deserve everything? Yeah, sure. Why? Yeah, of course. Okay, I believe I deserve everything. And guess what? I receive everything. I'm going to give your, your listeners examples of how you can use everything I talked about in real life and do special things. Be committed to liking you. I have a website called likingyou.com, L-I-K-I-N-G, and the letter U. And it's about self-esteem. You got to like you. It, okay. How old were you when you first fell in love? Probably in my 20s. Okay. Was it important that that person loved you? No. Good. You know why? You know what's more important? It's a more important that you love you. Right. And that other people like you and that you like you. Like has a much greater consistent power. Yes. So you have to be committed to a purposeful life. This is a big one. This is a modern day necessity. You having this broadcast, this is part of your purposeful life, isn't it? Absolutely. This gives meaning to your life. So in an 18-step program, if you don't have a purposeful life, your life's going to suck. Number 10, be committed to loving you. Got to love yourself. Be committed to being kind to others. And here's a big one. Be committed to being of service to others. When you're making a lot of money... You're supposed to give the money. If you want love, you give love. If you want wealth, you give wealth. And so when you're being of service to others, that's an energy that resonates with any God. So no matter what religion you are in, if you're being of service to others, it resonates with your God. Okay? 
Here's a big one that you've never heard ever. Be committed to being all in. All in. 100% plus, 1,000%. Everything I do in my life, whether or not it's eating ice cream and playing with my dog, I'm committed and all in. I was on my street in front of my door and I saw this pit bull and he was eating garbage. He ran over to me, gave me a big hug. I've had a lot of animals in my life, a lot of dogs, but I never had a pit bull. And he sat on my front door for eight hours straight and says, you're my daddy. So like when we rescue animals and we rescue a lot of animals, we sent him the veterinary and he came back and he, my wife kept on, she was afraid of him. She kept on saying, he's biting me, he's biting me. And I says, no, he's not really biting you. You just have this playful energy. So he's playing using his teeth. Now she learned to realize He's a big, giant love. So I do special things individually with all my animals. So Angel, the pit bull, is a real angel. And he loves ice cream. So he and I will sit down together and I'll share my ice cream with him. And he's the only one that I do so. Because you make, like children, you make every child and every animal special. And so he would never bite me ever, ever, ever. It's because of this connection. I love him. He loves me. He loves himself too. Yes. Be committed, to allowing your soul to grow. Allow your soul to grow. Believe it or not, your soul is like a plant. You have to water it. You know, you water your soul. Powerful words. Powerful words. So here's a powerful word for you and all your listeners. Be the best version of your authentic soul self. Authentic soul self. The most powerful statement you can make. I am the best version of my authentic soul's self. Beautiful, right? Yes. Surrender your, be committed to surrendering your ego is number 15. 16, be committed to being kind to yourself. Be committed to happiness and joy in your life. Number 17, but here's number 18. Be committed to the words and spirit of the Ten Commandments and the consciousness of the God of the Most High and your divine soul. So in life, what I'm basically saying in step 18 is there are rules in life. You know why there are rules? to keep you consistent and moving on. If we live in a world that had no rules, the, the, the world would have no foundation. Do you know an expression, the uh, Christ consciousness? No. It's like the Ten Commandments. So this 18-step program has no connection with any religion whatsoever. It's universal. So no matter what religion you are in the world, you want to be committed to the words and spirit of the Ten Commandments, the consciousness, Christ consciousness, the consciousness of God, of the Most High, and your divine soul. And the most important is your divine soul. Yeah, because you really matter. You have to have this commitment this consciousness to your own soul and know that you really matter in the world today you know we have the highest rate of suicide in the existence of mankind in the world today do you know why mm -hmm. big d 